topic right now that yeah, has to be, I'm sorry, we're talking about one topic right now that has to do with how do you get basis? How do you get basis? We talked in, at the early set or the early time where we are going to discuss with uh, clients um, not changing the plan they have now, but adding something. So I'm still not very much believing in the classic baby <coughs> trust planning. I'm still having a marital trust and a family trust, especially because I've got Virginia clients, I was in Maryland clients, and Virginia clients, but I want to have these assets asset protected, and I want to have them inside of the trust. But what about when that client dies? Um, if I have highly appreciated assets in there, I want to be able to get basis in. And what we've been doing is we've been putting in an option that a uh, either a trust advisor or a trust protector or a special independent trustee will have the power to grant to the beneficiary of that trust, of the trust that is, goes to the surviving spouse, by example, and the family trust that's, that's otherwise be outside of the estate, if that spouse does not have a, a, um, a taxable trust, taxable estate, to grant to that spouse a limited, what I call limited general power point, grant a restricted general power point to grant to the creditors of his or her estate um, the value of value of the, in the assets in that trust up to a certain amount, which would then cause those assets to be included in their estate, get established on basis on those assets. Okay? In a world where you need flexibility, you need to give that power to somebody to grant a general power appointment over those properties. And you can grant a general power appointment to give it just to the creditors of the estate, just to creditors. And if it's just to creditors, it will never be executed, or unlikely to be executed, number one. And number two, it's just the existence of the power causes it to be inside the estate. Right? So now if we had an Alaska Canadian property trust, by example, where there's a surviving spouse, right? And there is the, the assets that got to step up when the first spouse passed, right? All those assets got to step up. And then the survivor has his or her assets outside of the assets that are left inside of the family or, or the B trust or the uh, bypass trust for that survivor. You can give somebody the power to grant to that spouse a, a uh, power to get a step up. And by the way, that doesn't have to be limited just to the spouse. That can go to every generation. So you have a, a protector in every generation or a, a special independent trustee at every generation to give that to always provide basis. If you always provide basis, you're never going to have a capital gains event. Right? But it can still stay in the trust. Right? Good enough? Okay. Um,